Welcome people to the top 10 not so scary logos in history. So, if you ever go through it, look at TV, movies, heck, even video games, what are the first things that you see? That's right, logos. And uh, some of them are so scary that people might think, why did they even make it in the first place? And some of them are not so scary. So, in this video, it's my turn, finally, to do a top 10 not so scary logos in history, in my opinion. I won't be adding screen gems, BMD and Viacom Fear of Doom in there because those are basically just people have been talking about them to death. So, anyway, on with the video. <laughs> to a rather weird start. Happy Face Home Video. Gee, I'm not sure what to say with that one. The music is fine. The logo is mixed. I can see why some people say it's one well, it's scary because the f mouth and face, but to me, having gotten the DVD of it for uh, VHS and DVD sets of these ones, I can perfectly tell you that it's not too bad. Although those eyes, jeepers, they're terrifying. So anyway, on to number nine. <laughs> number nine on my list is the second one. My god, that's like... How do people find that scary? I mean... Is it because of the... Black background? No, it isn't. Is it because... Is it because of that flashing light at the beginning? Not really. People may have some reasons why it's scary, but for me, there's no way that in hell that Guild Home Video is scary at all. In fact, believe it or not, it's actually one of my favourite logos of all time. Yes. However, it is here because it's not really that scary. Whoever finds it scary, come on. You have no idea what we're going into. Anyway, on to number eight. Number eight is...
this current video. Maybe the only reason why it's considered scary is because of the um the stillness of it all and the fact that it has that uh weird synth music on it. Other than that, in my opinion, it's it's a bit cheesy, a bit bland, and also I've seen her a thousand times and it's not one of the good <laughs> it's not one of the good logos from the nineteen eighties. So anyway, on to number seven. So scary logos is Scimitar Entertainment, the second logo. That's right, the second one. I mean, yeah, sure, the sound is a bit scary for some people, but for me, I never find it that scary. In fact, I think the first one might be even scarier than the second one. But this is non so not so scary logos, so yes. They've the reason why it is is because I've seen it so often and for so long that I feel like the effect of it being scary has worn off on me. Plus, it's triumphant, I feel. So anyway, on to number six. This was supposed to be number seven, but we got mixed up. So on to number six. Number six is VCI, the one with the, um, the one with the grey logo, godlike rays, and the one that spins everywhere, the form VCI. Now the reason why that's number six, not higher, is because First off, I used to find that one a little bit scary when I was a kid. First time I saw it at Dominant of Friends, I was scared. I was scared. However, seeing it over and over and over again, I came to appreciate the beauty and brilliance of it. Plus, it's awesome the way that the logo spins and turns. Plus, that music. God damn, that music is amazing. So yeah, that's the reason why VCI is number six. Number five. Bradstone Pictures Productions. 
the pads those pi pictures. The one with the Find that's not particularly scary at all. Reason why? It's due to the fact that it's cheesy and a bit boring. To be honest with you. Plus It wasn't, for me, that particularly frightening. It's one of those languages where you think, why do you, why did they do that, and yet, it's so awesome at the same time. So yeah, that's the reason why it's number five on my list. The reason why I don't find this logo now particularly scary is because I just got used to hearing that logo sound going on all over the place. Plus, I think out of all of them, that's the least scary one I can think of from that era. However, it's number four. Only reason why? The music's n the music can be scary for some people, but for me, it's not. The visuals with the with the shapes appearing on the screen that's not well it can be scary for those who have never watched it before but there's a hell like me it's not that scary at all Plus, I find the shorter version a lot more terrifying than the original, than the longer version, but even then, it's not that scary. So yeah, number four, Westless, this Global Enterprises is number four. Number three, top pick. say about that logo that hasn't already been said before. The only thing there's about loads of different varieties of lo of that logo there's one where it does there's one where it has a nice fanfare. Can't remember which version that was. And there's one where <coughs> there's one where which most people recognize is the one where it's a woman screams a German woman screams and then and then the music is awesome at the end but to be honest I still want to find out who that woman was who that screaming voice was. 
But anyway, it's not, well, apart from the screaming woman at the end, at the beginning, it's not actually that scary in the first place. So, on to number two. say about API television productions. This one is scary, I, I must admit that, but that's not the point. The point is it's not scary for me and for several reasons. One, I've seen way, way, way Many more scary logos than that. Heck, I even see the legendary, supposedly legendary screen gems, uh, by Conveyor Doom, BNM, the BMN logo, uh, Vadamon, KWSU, which, that one is not scary at all. Just cheesy, and uh, yeah, uh, what do I say about this one? It's not scary, it's a bit loud, but that's what you kind of expect from this logo. Would I say it's scary? No, would I say it's I would say it's kind of a bit boring to be honest. It's not worth it being scary at all. So, that's why it's number two. It's not scary. The music's loud. I admit that. But for me, I've seen it so many times and it's not scary. Move on to number one before anyone else convinces me otherwise. <laughs> Films Incorporated logo. Oh boy, this one is a nightmare. Honestly, it's one of the worst logos I've seen. It was made for kids programming, and like Mr. and Scissor Network says it best when it said when he said, "It might ship a uh, shit their pet." while watching it. It's so bad. I'm surprised no other person apart from me considers it to be one of the worst logos of all time. But it's not scary. That's the main point. It's not scary. However, if I was to do a worst list, it's definitely going to be that one of the worst logos of all time. Uh, it was made for kids. It also... It was made for kids, plus... The music is just horrible. The visuals... What were they even thinking about doing that one? But, overall, when I say it's scary, no, just damn right horrible and atrocious. And that's it. That is the top 10, in my opinion, least scary locals of all time. Hope, hope you liked that video. And uh, I tried to make it so that it was obscure logos as possible.
trying to make deliveries that people weren't expecting as well. So, until next time, this is Brooke Hammerbrook, signing out.